All right, anytime you're ready. Think you can hit him from here? Yeah. I'm going to pitch. All right, you just pitched out. Not eating that. He didn't eat the livey. Oh, we got one on the back. Don't know what it is. <laughs> you got one on? Yeah. Oh, there, there's a fat one right behind the boat. There he is. Come on, come on, come on, here he comes. He's gonna eat my bait right there. He ate it. He ate it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to this episode of Addict to Fishing. We're offshore Port Canaveral right now. Got my old buddy Scott Lum. I've known Scott since what, the third grade, I think? Yeah, something like that. Something like that since the third grade. We're off Canaveral. He's fishing guiding now, and we're catching cobia. And uh, I thought the cobia were gonna be gone after we shot one with Jim Ross out here earlier this year, but. Kobe ain't a bad thing, brother. Ain't a bad thing at all. Especially when they're like this size right here. Look at that. Nice Cobia. Got Cobes around the boat and space shuttle inshore of us. <laughs> and it's on the pad too. Well, after that intro there, I think we can put this guy in the boat. And I know Miss Patrice wants to eat a Cobia. So we'll get the free bill on him, maybe. Oh, this is fun to do by yourself. And in the net. One cover you down, how about that? The old lemon fish, or lemon, ling. Lemon fish, ling, what else they call them? I call them big brown turds. Yep, swimming turd. <laughs> well, whatever you call them, I tell you what, they're tasty. And that one right there looks like a very tasty one. But you know what, I think we're gonna let this guy go. You don't come book a trip with Scott and catch this one. You gonna let that Cobia go there, Blair? Yeah, he's a little small. We'll let this guy live. I got you, the one I got on the hoss. Ooh, and there he goes. I'll tell you, Blair, I could get used to this tower you got right here. That is a nice one. I think this Cobia here has got dinner written all over it. You get his head up here. Slack. Yep, I think that one will invite home. It's, it's hard not to bring cobia home, especially when they're this thick out there. Because I don't know anybody in my family, or I don't know anybody that likes to eat fish that doesn't like to eat a cobia. And all we're using, he's got a little bigger jig head on there. He's got all the uh, skirt clipped off of it. That's a Troy Perez jig head. I'm using a DOA jig head. And all we're doing is hooking up croakers to him. You get in front of the school, drop them out, and it's cobia on, brother. That's a nice one right there for the box. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back with Scott Lum. Hey Blair, you got a, a friend that followed him up, a remora by his foot there. Oh yeah, check that out. A little remora. These things are pretty neat. Sucker fish. Stick him to the yeah. side of the boat, you can see the way he sticks on there. Just stick right to the side of your head. Hey, do I got anything growing on me? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back. Oh, I can't get him off. Wish him more to fishing. <laughs> <laughs> That music is that pretty tight down below me or what? Look at that cubby. 